Hello, Georgia B back again. Here I am back again with my Carl Pals cards. The colour theme this month is red. So I've come up with this card. It's a fun fold card, I suppose you call it. I just chopped it up and turned it round. So what I've got for this card, I need to make one more, as I now have three card bells. So I have got here like that, a card base of, let me move these out of the way, of oh, eight and three quarters and I scored it at two and seven eighths. Yeah. And then what I did, I folded the card in half and then chopped off at the crease. But not very well the looks of it. There you are. Which is this bit. And this bit we'll use for that bit. Right, I've also got a card at uh, three and seven eighths by five and five eighths for the inside. I've got a piece of DSP. Now this is the party DSP at the back of the catalogue you can earn as a host uh, gift. And this is three and five eighths by five and five five and a half and I was actually going to do the black and white but then I wasn't quite sure and I showed my husband I said what do you think is best that or the hearts and he said the hearts so that's what I've used so that goes on there then I have a piece of card and this one is two and three quarters by three and seven eighths and then this piece of DSP no nope. must be this piece of DSP and it's too short or else I've got the wrong piece I have that goes on there um, so this will be two and a half won't it let me see Oh no, two and three quarters by three and three quarters, that's right. Then I have a piece of cardstock at four and one eighths by two and seven eighths. And that's going to go across there. So this one will be four by two and three quarters and I should have really had two but I haven't got two so I need to cut up another piece I need two of these say that was yeah I'll do it that way three and seven eighths by No, that needs to be a bit smaller. I'll tell you how much it is in a minute. How much it is. So it's three and seven eighths by two and three quarters, right. Keep that separate, that scrap. Bring this back. Right, that will go on there. This will go on here like this. 
and then the other piece will go on there and then it will stick on there. Let's stick it all down and then we can show you. I don't usually use this much card and paper all in one go. But for the simple fact I do get confused. Especially if you make your cards you know, about two weeks ago and then decide to film them. You forgot what you did. I'm just gluing all these bits together and sticking them on the base. I am quite early this month with my cards. Usually I leave it to near enough the end of the month before I make them and film them. But this month I'm on the ball. Ah, another thing if you've got directional paper, make sure it all goes the right way. go on there with a flower on top. So I am just going to lift that up because that's where I want the glue to be, just on this half. And then I'm going to make sure it's straight. Now this one, I put that in there, if you notice I've got a nice little border down around it, just a thin border, and I'm going to glue this because so I don't want you to see it when it's closed. So, and then I'm going to shut it. And there we have the inside for you to write a message. Now this card, they don't have any messages or sentiments on them because if they do like them and they want to use them for summer, they can add their own sentiment. And now we need a flower to put this on, to put on there. And I know you've seen me do these flowers multiple times but we will do one again if you don't want to watch you can always skip to see what I do with it in the end Colour this in. I just use a variety of different colours. Right, flirty flamingo for these. Oh, wrong side. For these little ones. Ah. 
and I did. Um, um, this way. That one, that one, and that one are red. This one's pink. pink and this one's pink I pink and this little one here I'm having to look at the cards I've done to See which ones need doing. All right, and then I get is this poppy parade. Yeah, and do all the red. This one's all red. This one. Oh, and this one here. Right, and the rest are all so saffron, light so saffron.
and then all the middles are daffodil delight. I think I did the uh, middle ones a little bit darker so I'm going to use craze on craze on the lighter one just a touch of it Just makes them stand out a bit better. Right, now the leaves I did in um, Granny Apple Green. And I just did them all the same. No swapping and changing. These are a bit dark for this yellow. What do you reckon? we do with that is cut it out with the dies that go with the stamp set like that and then you just cut it out but I don't need to do that because I've already cut it out now all we're going to do is put this on dimensionals to put on our card. goes on that way 
Right. Take all these backings off again. And we'll place this on our white piece, like that. And that is this card done. The longest part was colouring in the flowers. So there we have it, my three card pals. All got the same card, as usual. At least they know it's from me. Well, leave a comment and tell me what you think of it. And a thumbs up if you like them. And please subscribe. I do need subscribers. Because I know a lot of you are just watching and not subscribing. So anyway, if you subscribe, don't forget to press the bell icon as well. To get notified of when I upload videos. Which is usually on Monday, Wednesday. Monday and Friday at the moment. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.